one of the things that fascinates me about cave paintings is the perfect proportion of the proportions of those animals painted on the walls which are not flat canvases and if you ask an art student these days to make those proportions around those uh, stones and boulders and those corners and everything it would be very difficult for them they have to practice a lot to to have proportions on a flat sheet of paper so uh, here what I'm doing here is um, I'm making a drawing of a, uh, a tattoo guy this I transformed a little bit the the images I could find so I get more information about his body and tattoos and as you can see um, the lines of the tattoo which were drawn on a sheet of paper are following now his chest I don't think you can I could be wrong but I don't think as a tattoo artist you can draw directly on a body and that body would not stay the same anyway so um, I've seen how tattoo artists some tattoo artists work they draw and then they um, what's it called um, transfer the the drawing onto the skin and then they start inking it and this guy who he was young when he got this tattoos like that and these are very old pictures of of him now then there was a, a period when he became more muscular and then also hairier and then you couldn't see the tattoos anymore which i found to be sad but and then his chest became far more muscular and abs and so the whole thing started to undulate around his his body so what i'm doing here is trying to judge for myself and when I cannot see the detail in the, the drawing to imagine what the caveman was doing around those corners so I'm imagining here a, a pectoral a boob you know and how would the lines go as opposed to this one but in, in original, they were both drawn in the same way. This is just a simple example. Another thing I like about um, drawing such um, crazy detail drawings, in, and um, it takes me a long time to recreate and sketch first and determine the position of what would come where and then fill in the gaps and blah blah all that stuff but um, concentrating on the execution of such a drawing to me is a type of meditation and uh, you can try to you can meditate whatever you want about i don't i don't know how this meditating thing goes but my mind really goes calm i don't want to say only but mostly when i when i uh work and when I put my attention into that, my mind finally relaxes. The moment I look through the window to the outside world, it's like, well, you know. And in through work, I get that peace that helps me relax and accommodate thoughts that come from inside me, the real me, and form each other in new combinations and anyway I'm not going to describe you uh, what some call enlightenment I I would even advise to avoid enlightenment because then you if you're chasing for enlightenment you're probably in most cases follow what others tell you that is enlightenment and I don't know, I've been to some of these um, 
mindfulness meetings uh, as a as a filmmaker because I I documented some of the a few even of the great uh, mindfulness Zen Buddhist whatever and if if it works for you okay but I've seen people who are trying to say ah this is what he said I have to do that you know and they are trying and at some point they say oh yeah i'm enlightened now and i i got that and i they smile and all that stuff and why am i saying all this while just presenting a drawing yeah yeah because it helps me relax and get shitty ideas as you can see here anyway so these people at the buddhist retreats or whatever retreats and meditation and yogas and thing they give you that smile to tell you i have reached that enlightenment and maybe it is so i hope it is so but telling you frankly when somebody is what they call enlightened enlightened um who compare compared to somebody who pretends to be enlightened you see that difference i don't know and you don't express it in words so um drawing to me helps me do that and maybe it will help you this is why i made the whole video and um, uh, the idea of focusing on crazy details and recreating and looking at something like drawing on a cave wall with all this body this this is quite a simple one in terms of his body's full front photographs you know and but wait and see wait and, and see till you start or i start uh, drawing something which is well this is a statue i'm not going to draw on it or maybe i will i don't know but uh to draw this and then on top of it to draw details or uh, uh, tattoos that would create that illusion of volumes and stuff. It's a little bit more complicated and um, I think it is good. If it's complicated, it's good because it stops your mind from doing, falling into the um, routine. And just like uh, this another sentence, uh, it reminds me of those uh, uh, Buddhist retreats when something happens and then somebody bang uh, touches a bell and then to wake up people and bring their thoughts back and stuff like that. To me, that's that moment of bringing my mind back from wandering is when I have to um, reference myself to the picture and see what is here and how do I translate it there because I'm not trying to copy, otherwise I would, uh, I don't know, photocopy this and paste it there or whatever. Uh, but I'm not trying to um, duplicate like a Xerox machine. I'm trying to copy because this is more complicated for me and this is the point of complicating my life because it's <laughs> it is so simple. And um, anyway, when it's complicated, it's beautiful. So, have a good time. Hope you learned something or gave you some ideas.